So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It is a hot one here today in Pennsylvania. Now I know 82 degrees isn't real warm for a lot of you, but around here it's pretty warm. Plus it's humid. I have been doing all my outside work this week, kind of second shift. Uh, it's been raining each morning and things just start to dry up in the afternoon. But tomorrow looks like a better day. Looks like it's going to be rain free. So this evening I came down here to the wood yard just to clean up a bunch of limbs and small trees that I took down the other day. I'll show you what I have going on here and then we'll move on to something else. So if you saw that video the other day, you know I cleared some brush and some small trees from behind that shipping container because I'm going to continue digging across there to make more room. But I just had all that stuff sitting out here in the middle. I just got it all gathered up, hauled down to the burn pit. And by the way, that excavator is the ticket for that kind of work right there. You can kind of line everything up, get it in a nice compact pile. It only took me three trips to the burn pit to gather all that up. It took me about 10 minutes. But anyway, next on the agenda, I need to head down to my mom's place and get her grass cut. I'm not sure how that's going to go. I'm sure it's still pretty wet, but it's been growing pretty fast and she wants it cut. So we'll see how that goes. Plus her yard's pretty steep. There's a lot of side hill stuff, but uh, that X mark, it actually sticks to it pretty well. I wanted to uh, mention something before I forget. This is the uh, GoPro 10 and I actually just bought another one. I have such a love-hate relationship with these cameras. I really do. The video quality is fantastic, but they're quirky and they basically drive me nuts. But I just kind of work through it, hoping that it will get better. It's important to make sure you do the updates when there's an update available. But like this camera right now, for example, I said it's 82 degrees. This one here shut down on me just a little bit ago because it overheated, got too hot. Hopefully we didn't lose any data. But uh, I don't know why, after all these years, that GoPro can't just make a camera that works. I don't understand it. Like I said, the video quality is phenomenal on these things, but they're so quirky. They're just kind of a pain in the neck. But uh, for years, I used those DJI Osmo actions, and they were bulletproof. They really were. Only reason I switched to these is because the video quality is better, in my opinion, and the internal mic is better as well. But uh, they drive me nuts. They really do. There are a few times where the one that I'm using, I don't know if it was this one or that other one, I was going to run it through the log splitter. I seriously was. Uh, they're like a $500 camera, but uh, they just drive me crazy. just got back from my mom's place I got her grass all cut uh, she gave me a list of a few other things she'd like done maybe we'll get to them this weekend sometime right now I need to hop in the truck and uh, run down to Levi and Kate's place at the brick house uh, we were working on the new run for their chicken coop this morning and uh, then we got rained out but uh, we picked up a little bit more treated lumber today and we've got all the chicken wire I think we have about everything we need to finish it uh, so we're going to run this stuff down to him right now and I'll give you a look at the new chicken run. So I just stopped in the house for a minute to uh, see Melissa before I head down to the brick house. And I have had a sneezing fit for like the last 10 minutes. Normally, well I should say for years, allergies didn't bother me too much. But when I mow this time of year, I'm telling you, I, it's all up in my head right now. But I just sneezed a whole bunch and I'm feeling better. But it's weird how as you get older... Uh, Sometimes you start getting allergic to things like that, and this. But this time, in the next couple of weeks, oh. like it's going to be like that. We have our deck is covered. The trampoline was covered with stuff falling from the trees. Yeah, all these trees are producing things that kind of wreak havoc. It's this time of year. Middle of summer is not real bad for me, but then uh, about a two-week span during the fall, uh, it gets pretty rough. It does, but uh, it is what it is. I'd rather be outside than inside. But Melissa has something to show you. So check this out. Yeah, my good friend Linda dropped this off and uh, created this arrangement for me. She's actually a master gardener. And one of our videos 
a couple years ago we did at Linda's house with her flower gardens. So if you want to check out an old video, go check that out. But this is the uh, tomato. Look at the, can you see the tiny little tomatoes? Yep. And you know what, Hunter and I love these. So I hope he doesn't notice before I can get a hold of them because he'll pick them and eat them. We've done that before. What's that, some basil? Some basil. And she arranged these beautifully, uh, watered it. Just, just a very nice gesture from my friend Linda. So thank you, Linda. And hopefully up here in the deck, it's safe from the deer. <laughs> exactly. But I would like, not be surprised to walk out here. There'd be a deer standing here on the deck eating it. You're right. No, nah, they shouldn't come up here. But, yeah. I'm going to love it. And uh, like I said, I'm going to hopefully hide this from hunter he, he loves, those loves little. it yeah we planted cherry tomatoes before and they were along the fence line and he would just stand there and eat them even in, when they were green or maybe a slightly red so or onions hunter oh, he loves them hunter yeah. will eat an onion like an apple yeah the, and even the um green onions for our hello fresh the other night i had everything laid out i turned my back and i turned back around he had grabbed them and was eating the green onions it was to be chopped up and go in the recipe and then also, Hunter has eaten those ramps. They're wild onions, mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with them. There's some growing down by the brick house. And, I mean, they are super strong. He'll just take them, bite yeah, them, eat them. They are strong. <laughs> he loves them. And that's when you can smell Hunter before you see him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I better head down there. I'm going to take that lumber down. I'll show you guys uh, what their new chicken run looks like. We also have to uh, square up the chicken coop. We set it last week. It's a little bit wonky, which we knew that, but we wanted to get the run up, and then we'll kind of wiggle that coop around, get it all plumbed up, and uh, they're chicks, which theirs are getting bigger. They're, they're a couple weeks ahead of ours. We yeah. still have about another week and a half before right. we need to get our coop and run done, maybe even two weeks, but it'll come down to the wire, I'm sure, but uh, the coop is coming out fantastic, by the way. Uh, wait till you excited. see it. I. I did a little bit of video on starting on it, but I just like to go out there, don't mess with the cameras, and I, uh, uh, it's coming right along. It's looking really good, and Levi planed a bunch of that red pine that we're siding it with. Uh, it's going to be a, uh, chickens will be proud to live there. I'll tell That's you that right. right now. They will, first rate chicken coop. Prime, prime property. So our deck, obviously it needs stained. It's on the list for this summer as well. But this is what comes off of the uh, red oak trees. Right. I call them tassels. I forget the uh, scientific term for these. But literally, we blew this deck off. They're just everywhere. Oh, I find them in my hair. Yeah. But there's also helicopters. Yeah, tiny little helicopters. And they are. They're small. Normally, they're bigger. They're off the maples. We call them helicopters. Look. And bad news to report. I know. This tree right here is a dogwood tree, and uh, they don't get very big, and I can, I can tell you why. That one right there, right here by the deck, we actually kind of moved the house a little bit for this tree, worked around it, and it lived another, what, 25? Yeah, and it shouldn't have because, you know what, it was a split one. Like down at the very bottom, it had split, and there was two. So that water laid in the, in the bottom of the V. Yeah, in the Y. And it, so the right side was cut off. But we've but been trimming side, dead limbs off of it for yeah, years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it just didn't come back this year. Yeah. Wait. It is. Oh, it's trying. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't know. Yeah, there's some... No, man, it's bad shape. It is in bad shape, but... There are buds up there, there but it never flowered buds. or anything. No. I think it's There's toast. A little. We're going to leave her go, though, see if it'll come back, but I don't think it will. Hmm. I'm going to search the internet for a remedy. Yeah. Well, I'm heading to the brick house. All right. So it's now 7.30 in the evening, and I was thinking just a little bit ago, if this was wintertime, I would be wanting to hold down the couch right now. It's amazing how much more energy you have this time of year you know you still get up the same time in the morning but uh, you just kind of keep going and keep moving until it's dark out at least that's what we do hey ty how are you what's going on this is how we see how deep the hole is think it's deep enough ty maybe a little bit more ty was at the doctor the other day he's like 36 37 inches 36 37 <laughs> so this hole right here that levi's digging is just going to be for another post which will be for the gate. Uh, we're going to have a, a three-foot gate in here. 
but you can see we're putting a top on it it'll have the chicken wire over the top it's a nice big run it's about uh, 8 by 16 and you can see I mentioned we're gonna square up the coop but uh, yeah it should be good to go all pressure treated lumber all the posts are sunk in the ground and cemented in concreted in it'll be good to go it's a solid run what do you think Ty got a few deer crossing the road here we got deer true but anyway I think that's about it for today's video this one has been all over the place but at least it gives you uh, some idea what's going on around here tomorrow like I said the weather looks better and we have some big things happening coming in about a week or so so uh, stay tuned for that but anyway I appreciate y'all being here and I'll catch you on the next one